Hey, welcome back to my channel. I got a really cool build for you today. Today, we're gonna to be putting in an overhead crane. Now, this is how I do it. You do it however you wanna do it because you're gonna to have to accept the risk, whatever you do, so. Let's get started. I had an I-beam sitting beside my shop that was about eight feet long, and it's gonna work quite well for this application. With the U-style shaped bolt, I'm gonna bolt it to the trusses, and it's gonna rest along this direction here. First, I have to find out how far the studs are apart. Then I'll mark them out two feet apart. The bolts will be staggered diagonally. Now, I happen to have a mag drill. If you don't have a mag drill and you decide to do this, you can use pretty much any drill you want. However, you're going to have to figure out your load calculations. I don't personally recommend how I did it. I basically hung from one of the rafters, and I'm a 270 pound man. And since I have four connection points, I'm giving it a four to one safety factor. Chances are you can probably hang more off of it, but that's all I'm comfortable doing. Now the hardest part is gonna be getting this up to the ceiling. I chose to do it in a really sketchy manner, as you'll see next. Like I said, I really don't recommend this method. Let's hear what you have to say if you got any better ideas on how to do it. Next I crawled up into the attic and I put a bolt through. This will be the starting point of where we start bolting it in. Next I grab a thin rod and I drive it through where the bolt hole is up into the attic and I leave the rod up in the attic so I can find it where to push the bolt back through. On the far side you'll see a Bessie clamp. This Bessie clamp held the beam up against the ceiling so I could get the last two sets of bolts in. Next I'm installing the lifting hardware. Now with the beam roller it's really important I found to make sure that both sides were parallel so there'll be quite a bit of shimming involved to make sure that it's correct. I had to work through a few challenges while I was building this. However, some of the challenges are easily fixed with an angle grinder. Once again, full safety disclaimer. If you choose to do a project like this, you're going to want a face shield and earplugs, and maybe not standing on a ladder. Last but not least, I'm installing the stop bolts so that the roller doesn't roll right off onto the ground. Next, I ran down to Princess Salado and picked up a half ton come along. It's the smallest they had, and luckily I had a helper to help me install it this time. If you like this video, hit the subscribe and like button. I'd really appreciate your support. <laughs> You're like a pro. <laughs> 